All right, so it's okay. You don't wanna do this every single time because you don't need to put a ton of extra moisture in your clay, right? Um, but if you wanted those decorative coils, putting a little extra moisture on your clay is gonna be good, all right? So I could play around with a coil and just make a design however I want. I'm trying to kind of smush it together as I go. And because I wet this coil, it's not, um, it's not cracking on me, okay? If you do this and you haven't put any extra moisture, then it probably will crack all over the place, okay? So if I wanna do something like that and I wanna attach it to the side of my pot, All right, so, and you guys can add these any way you want to, but after I show you how to do it, you'll kind of figure it out a little bit, okay? I can't just take this like it is and add it to the side. That will probably end in disaster, okay? But what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna decide which side looks prettier. I think that side probably does. And because I'm working on canvas, I'm gonna steal this piece of paper first. because I don't like the texture of the fabric you guys aren't really using it here, but at home they have the boards. So I like just putting it on a piece of paper. And what I'm gonna do is make sure that I kind of push these coils together a little bit. And this is the backside on top. I'm gonna to take and I'm gonna slowly connect all of this stuff. So you can go in different directions. You wanna go against the creases, okay? And really pull the clay together. And the thing is you have to do this without pressing down too much because you don't want to ruin the other side. You'll generally flatten it out a little bit and that's not usually a problem. Okay, but you want to smooth the whole entire backside. You could even use a little rib if you want to try to go over it. Okay, and it doesn't have to be perfect, but then I have my coil design on one side and it's all smoothed on the other side. Okay, and then I can add it on. The thing is, you see what a potential problem is when I add this on? Anyone? Oh, see, let me. I tried to show you guys what I'm doing too. Sorry, I forgot the mirror button. It's too bad this technology didn't just know what I wanted it to do. Okay, ready? See, what's the, what's the potential problem? Okay. There's no glue. There's no glue, there's no slip, right? How about the little gaps, you like those? No. No, right, okay. So you gotta think a little bit about like how you're gonna do this. So if I wanted to fill in the gaps, I can take like little balls of clay that was too much water. Okay. No, no, I was just looking at the gaps. Okay, so I want to make this side kind of flat, this side. So I'm going to add some little like balls of clay, smush them in there, flatten out the back like it did. All right, so now this is just, I have to accept that as part of my design, right? See? So now I have a little bit of something. Now I have this extra thing that this, I haven't worked on this one since last Thursday. So it's still pretty smushy, but I definitely need to scratch it up, okay? So I can add this right, right here, okay? So I might make a little mark where I'm gonna go to. And then this one, I am gonna scratch and slip because it's been since last Thursday. And I'm gonna to try to keep my scratches from going on the front decoration part. And even like these little, I probably should have done that. The little balls that I added, I could probably smooth those out on the bottom because it's really just the front design that needs them. 
the separation. And then you all can pretend I'm using slip because I'm not. Okay, so you put a lot of slip on both sides and then I do the same thing as normal. I need to press down. And you have to be a little bit gentle when you do stuff like this because it's you got the decoration. You don't wanna ruin the decoration, but you can kind of grab it, push it down, okay? And you can even, my favorite thing to do is just on the front is to just use like a paintbrush and water and just try to go over it. And if I put a little bit of extra moisture there, I don't think it's a bad thing, but you can also use a paintbrush. Like there's some little tiny uh, imperfections right there. I won't call them cracks. Um, you can use just a paintbrush and water. Now I don't need to do that right now. Okay. And that's the one thing I want you guys to really get used to is that this is not gonna look perfect. The surface as you go is not gonna be perfect. You have to learn to go in stages, okay? So take care of the big stuff first. Now, when you add this, this thing, you're not really gonna have a whole lot of um, clay to move around on the inside. So I'd actually add a small coil. Let's put a little extra moisture on this one too, because my, my clay's a little bit dry. So that's the other thing you guys can do is if it's just a little bit dry, just take a little water in your hand as you go. So I have this little coil and I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna start at one side and I'm gonna put my hand, my other hand behind it and I'm just gonna push to add a little bit of coil that goes right over that seam, okay? And then I have extra clay that I can pull up and down. So I'll put the up, the top part of the coil, I'll pull up and the bottom part, I will pull down. All right, so it's nice and secure on the inside. And then on the outside, I have my decoration. That's pretty cool, right? Okay, so then you can kind of keep going and I can do the same thing. Some people like to add like a whole band that you can lay it out. So <clears throat> I got myself a piece of paper to start this because um, I don't like the texture of the mats on my coils, right? So there's a couple of different ways to do this, okay? But the first thing you want to do is make sure that your clay is just a little bit like more wet than you normally have it. So I just have like a little bit of, this is just dirty water, but it's just water. It's not slip. And I just put my coil in a little bit of water. So it's just a little bit more wet, okay? Let's start by making some sort of coil. Here, I'll just do a simple thing first. So my coil itself is a little bit more wet. Once you start rolling it out, if it's like drying out on you, you can take a little bit of water on your finger and put a little bit more moisture into the, into the coil and that's fine too, okay? And you guys can kind of play around with most, you know, how, what shapes you wanna do or whatnot. A lot of people like doing the spirals. So to make a spiral, you just make that smooth coil, start at one side. just do that. So if I were gonna make like a, you know, a whole row of them like this and go this way, I might actually measure out how long this coil was to begin with. So I get the same size, okay, as I go around, that might be good. But essentially what you do is you make your piece, whatever shape it is, that will get a little closer, okay? Whatever shape it is, and then you can pick which side is your favorite. So if this side looks better to you than this side, you put the side you want to keep down and then you take the top part and you smooth it all out. So you connect the coils and you wanna make sure that you're doing the same thing like you do on your piece. You're going against that line that you made. 
And sometimes they even use a rib on top after. See, I just pulled away a little bit. So we'll go back over that a different direction. And it doesn't have to be perfect at this point. You just wanna make sure you're initially pulling these things together. I might even do that a little edge, okay? And once you have that, any little decoration like that, you guys can add it to the side. I can even push it so it goes out, all right? So then I just scratch and slip it on. You can do it like piecemeal. You can do it by little by little. You could build up onto the side. You could even build a piece that has, you know, you could keep going kind of from here and work in a pattern or whatever going this way. You could work right on this and add piece by piece by piece. But then you're gonna get to a point where you have a whole back where you gotta fix some of those connections, right? So I'd scratch and slip that and I connect it. So a better way to do this is to kind of plan out your design. Okay, I'm gonna keep that for a minute. Uh, if there are, it's gonna crack and break. Why do you think there's a bunch of air? Well, if there was one on the bottom of it, and the part of it, I think it would be not there anymore. Right, exactly. I mean, I would make another one anyway. You have time. All right, I'm gonna, that part's getting a little thin. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna just kind of measure this out right here. So I know that that is the circumference of my circle. Probably on this one, it's a little wonky over here. Nope, this day. <laughs> That's why you gotta pay attention to your building as you go. Well, are there any other cracks on the sides? Yeah, there's one right here. <laughs> you could kind of dig into it with a pin tool a little bit, see if there's you can open up a pocket and then there's a crack as long as there's a crack. There's a big one too You can try. Um Yeah, I would <laughs> That's a good idea. Yeah. So I would, yeah, I wouldn't work on it too much more because you wanna, you wanna um, take a big. You still have a big trash bag I gave you. Wrap it up and put it, put it loosely over the top, and then I would just start another one. Okay. All right. So. I mean, you're trying to skip stages is what you're trying to do. You're, you're trying to skip right from beginning knowledge to big, right? So of course things are gonna happen because you're pushing the limits. That doesn't mean it's bad. It just means you're gonna learn faster. All right, so when I do something like this and I wanna make a whole piece to go on to attach. I do like to measure it out and do a top and bottom coil to connect the whole thing. Now this is the fun part that you can figure out, you can decide how you're going to decorate this and what you're gonna do. So you could do a whole bunch of spirals if you want, like include these and you're gonna work top down. So I might put that in there and then I just kind of smush it this way, right? But you can kind of fill it any way you want to. So I could take some coils and I could put them like this. And you just want to work with the same kind of thickness. So I can see what happens when I do this design. So I can kind of just push it down.
All right, so now what I'm doing is I'm just filling in all my little gaps by just shoving little balls of clay in there. Um, so it just kind of looks like a little bubble of stuff on the other side. So when I go to smooth, you use your tool or use your finger. But at first, it's gonna look really messy. And it might go kind of up and down, especially if you're doing something like I did where there's different pieces, but that's okay, you can fix that. So you just wanna connect it all and you can, once you kind of go over it once, you can go over it again to smooth it out even more. But you wanna make sure that you're getting every piece to make sure that it's really connected. See, and then I can go over it again, like something like that. Of what you can do. Okay, so I'm like filling in all the little holes with just little balls of clay. And then I'm gonna go over and really smush it all together. And you have to be a little careful which direction you go, but you kind of just pull it and try to make it one piece. And the fun part's flipping it over to see what it looks like after. But you'll see it's rough, okay? It's rough at the beginning. That's okay. It's perfectly acceptable because you're just trying to connect the clay and make it be one. You know, once you get it once, you can kind of go back over with a rib if you want to, to kind of clean it up a little bit more. If you have a big dent, like there's a kind of a dent there, I might add a little bit more because I did that right there. That's what you get. Yeah, it's on the paper. It's funny. So here's my whole design. Isn't that cool? It's like a... or something. A pee pod. All right, so then I'll test it and make sure it's gonna fit. And usually I end up stretching them just a little bit. So I usually have to cut a little bit off and I will I'll just smush those together a little bit. So then it'll look like that. Now it's on its side. Scratch it up. Scratch this side. My slip is more like water right now than slip, but I'll be all right. Generally want it thicker than this. And again, I'm gonna kind of start at one side and press, make sure I'm pressing down a little bit. And because there's so much like water and moisture, I'm probably gonna wait a few minutes before I add that coil on the inside or try to really dry it out. 
where these are connected. That needs a little bit too. Okay, and then you can always press down kind of on the top and that's gonna connect it. Um, now these coils, if I want them to look like they are connected all the way around, I can do that. There's different tools that you could use to try to shape it. So it looks like those coils are actually connected. Um, I have one with a point. I'm trying to do that. All right. So then that one last step that you guys saw me do first with the other one, I'm going to do that on the inside too. And that will make sure that this is secure with the design on the outside. And if you guys have any, like if you do this and you have any like little surface things that you don't like, I would first try with just a little water on your finger or water on a paintbrush and see if it will smooth out. If it's really a shallow texture, it's probably going to be hidden with glaze. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. Um, you know, there's a certain level of like smoothness that you want, but it doesn't have to be like sanded smooth you know, because we still have a long process to go, okay? So you can see that line on the inside. I have to add a coil to that. I might kind of just try to get a little bit of that extra moisture out so I'm not slipping and sliding everywhere when I add it. 